Knocks it through. Mullen bursting into the box. Josh Mullen. Mullen's ball across. It's turned in. It's Pittman who's got it. Livingston leads. Now can they get the ball back in? O'Brien. The lead. And Livingston have the lead. Man, the score. The full time whistle blows and David Hay celebrates. And the Livingston fans join in exultation. Livingston have the lead against Rangers. And they are certainly rising to a few occasions on their return to the top flight in Scotland. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Talk Livy. Breaking news at Livy this evening, a 2nd January signing for the club in the form of Jez Kabaya. Jez joins Livy from League of Ireland side Shelburne and it's a two and a half year contract with the club. But joining me now is Shelburne Communications Officer, Gavin White. Gavin, thank you so much for joining me tonight. No problem. Thanks for having me on. Gavin, just quickly, what's the reaction like amongst the Shelburne fans to this news tonight? I know he's he's still quite a, a young lad, but he, he had quite an impact there at his time. What's what's the reaction from the fans on this uh, news? The reaction's uh, interesting because just just before we announced that he was leaving um, to, to go over to Scotland, um, we, we had announced a, pretty much a direct replacement in Yo-Yo Maddy, um, who is very, very well regarded and there's a lot of excitement around him. But then, as soon as we put out Jay's, um, it, it's it's nothing but goodwill. That's that's what the reaction is, is and that's how I say it. Um, a lot of fans kind of responded to him, sending messages saying, "You know, best of luck. Uh, ho- ho- hope he does well over there because, you know, it's it's a it's it's a it's a different type of challenge that, that he's gone into. Um, and he's, he's a young lad. Um, but he 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 did bring some some good memories, especially in his first season with, with Chelsea. Um. So, you know, he's, he's a national goal scorer. Um, and I think by nature, fans are always going to like goal scorers. And Jay's had a bit of personality about him as well. So, you know, there's a bit of sadness to see him go, but I think there's a bit of acceptance as well in terms of, you know, he's he's going to progress in his career. And also, we happen to have someone lined up, um, which is pretty handy. Yeah, no, absolutely. Obviously, this isn't the first time the two clubs have had dealings. Obviously, Levy signed then rising star Wes Houlihan uh, from Shelburne back in 2005. Is there any comparisons between the two players? You know, Wes was a, a tricky, tricky player back in his day and he's had a great career. Can you see a, a similar path for uh, Jays? If Jays has half the career that Wes is going to have, I think he's, he's going to be doing okay. Wes is, is uh, you know, we call him Wesy. He's... He, he's the, the be-all and end-all. Um, you know, he went on to scoring in European Championships for Ireland as well as playing in, in like the most pivotal game for us in the Champions League against Deportivo La Coronia. And the great thing about Wes was that he's, you know, he's, he's from the inner city in Dublin uh, and a, a real kind of local hero. Um, and lovely, lovely, lovely bloke. And that's that's one comparison that that does suit is that Jays is a lovely lad and um, very kind of well-grounded and, you know, very likeable. Um, and and that's, that, that, that's kind of where the comparison is going to end because Jays is he's a goal scorer. He's, his, his main ability is that he's a great finisher. If you can get him into the position to, to you know, a goal scorer in opposition... Uh, positions he's going to score and um, that's that's what his strongest point is and you know Wes, Wes is kind of you know he's number 10 he's he's tricky he's kind of the ball kind of sticks to him um you know he's he, he has an amazing eye for a pass whereas Jays is kind of more speedy and kind of a great finisher yeah no that sounds very promising so so I guess obviously the big question that all Livy fans will want to know and you've you've kind of uh, touched on it a little bit there what type of player are we getting from Jays then? Yeah, look, he's he's raw. Um, he he's only he's only twenty. Um, his his attributes will be his finishing, his speed, um, 
and the, the, the things that he, he probably knows that he, need, he needs to improve himself is kind of just physicality. Um, I, I think I saw in the press release that, you know, there might be a possibility for an early loan for him. Um, and I imagine the reason behind that is to kind of, you know, to, to, to bulk up essentially. Um, he, he, you know, the good thing is he's had first, first team experience with us in the League of Ireland, which is a very physical league. So, you know, that that's good preparation in, in his development. Um, but he's, he's, he's smart, he's energetic, he's, he's very enthusiastic quick and um, does have a trick in him as well so you know we, we were playing him out wide on the right um a lot and you know there were some kind of arguments within fans and probably within staff as well in terms of whether he's best as a number nine or, or as, as a winger so I guess if he goes up as a number nine for linguist and starts banging them in then we're proved wrong all the time so uh let's let's hope that happens um but he's you know a lawyer for goal and um I think he constantly, you know, he's an Arsenal fan and he constantly compares himself to Aubameyang, so I think maybe that. <laughs> well, if, he, if he's uh, as good as Aubameyang, then we'll, we'll certainly be looking forward to seeing him playing. You touched on his age, obviously, he's only 20 years old. Uh, he's coming off the back of first-team experience at Shelburne without being too disrespectful to the Irish League. What is the level like in Ireland compared to Scotland? I, I can't really talk in terms of the quality in Ireland because I, I don't know much of it. I don't see much of the football. But in your opinion, what's the quality difference between the Irish sort of top league and the Scottish top league? Yeah, so it's a, co- a constant kind of conversation that happens um, over here as well. What I'd say is I'd say like the, the top of the Irish Premier Division will be kind of akin to maybe the, the lower half of the Premier Division, maybe top half of the, the, the Championship of Scotland. Um you know, we, we have a couple of teams that, that regularly compete in the, the latter stages of the qualifying rounds for Europe and then Rovers, or sorry, Dundalk were in the Europa League group stages this year um, and they've created themselves well against Rapid Vienna and they, they had beaten uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv a couple of years ago. So, you know, it's 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 definitely rising. Um, and J- Jays would have played against kind of, you know, the top teams. So we we, like, we drew Neil all away uh, to Sean Rovers, who, who won the league, you know, and he played well in that game, actually. He had, he had a chance that he, he probably should have scored, to be honest with you, but his pace is what, what got that chance. Um, so, like, another year under his belt, he's he, he's going to be more improved. Um, and I, I think that's the that's the big thing with him. He, he's young and has a great appetite and, and, and is open to learn as well. And I'm sure he's excited to, to put the hard work in. Yeah, no, that that's great. You, you obviously mentioned the he's the the statement and the, the potential for him to move uh, out on loan for the rest of the season. Uh, obviously, you you mentioned his physicality there. Uh, there's already talk that he's potentially going out to East Fife as a replacement for we've just recalled Jack Hamilton today. So East Fife currently in League One in Scotland, definitely a physical league without a doubt. We've been there. Yeah. With, um, do you think that'll be beneficial for him? A hundred percent. I I think. It would be, it's a, kind of a weird one because I'm sure he wants to impress within the Livingston camp. And I'm, I'm, I, I, as far as I know, he's he's had a week over there in training. Um, so I think, you know, he's he's probably had a moment there to kind of impress. And I think he'd like to improve that as well. But having said that, I think maybe six months long, maybe for the rest of the season w- would be unbelievably beneficial for him uh, just to kind of get more game time, to get more kind of, you know, uh, League One Scottish footballers going in on them essentially, um, which which I'm which I'm sure would happen. Um, I I I I by by the tone of the messaging and by kind of the conversation in the club, I think that's kind of understood that that's going to be a possibility. And look, it's a two and a half year contract, so I think you know he he'd be up for it because he knows that if he impresses there and he comes back, uh, summer twenty twenty, he he's he's got every chance to kind of impress then and train as well. Gavin, it sounds like a, a really positive and exciting signing for Livingston. Thank you so much for, for joining me this evening at such short notice. And uh, obviously, I wish you the best of health during this, this difficult time. And of course, we wish Shelburne all the very best for the season ahead. So thanks again for joining me tonight, Gavin. Thanks, me, Andrew. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of the season. And of course, stay safe because it's not nice out there. We are back on Sunday to look back at our game with Ross County. We'll also look ahead to our games with Aberdeen and Celtic. So tune in then. That's it for this special edition of Talk Libby. Welcome to the club, Jay's Kabaya.
cantando 